back to page 167. The next word, number eight, is the word secret. What's the word? Nicely done. All right. The word is secret, okay? Which means it's confidential, it's not to be shared, it's classified, it's restricted. Secret. And you're going to see where the next word, why this next word is so related to it. Secret. Let's go. Secret. Secret. All right. First syllable, C. Second syllable, cret. Secret. All right. So, whoops. How do we mark this up? Great. You can say E at the end of the syllable. You got it. That is rule four. Okay, now, believe it or not, the word that comes from the word secret is the word secretary. What's the word? Exactly. Now, secretary, we know that. It's not as commonly used the term as, a, as an office worker. We'll get to that in a minute. But believe it or not, the word secretary is a piece of furniture. It's still around. In the old days, when people had to keep important confidential papers, classified papers, they would keep it in a secretary. It had special locks and keys and things like that. And it was, they were hidden drawers underneath what was a regular drawer. It was almost like a secret compartment. Okay, so that's where the word secretary comes from. Now, the more common one we know of is like a, a, an office assistant or a receptionist, a clerk, an office worker, an office manager, an office, or, uh, an office organizer, things like that. Secretary, okay, but it is related to the word secret, okay? So think about the word secret. It it's basically starts out the same, secretary. So what's the word? Beautiful, secretary. Let's go. Se, I'm sorry. Sec re te re secretary. Let me do that one more time. Sorry. Sec re ter e. I messed up that. Sorry. Okay, so let's go. Sec re ter e secretary. Okay. So because it, the pronunciation is slightly different, notice we don't say secretary. They probably pronounce it that way. I could look that up. All right, but let's go. We do have to put a first sound, a first sound. We don't say sec re -te tari Right, exactly, first sound. Okay, so it's a little complicated, but it is related to that. Okay, so what do we do with these two words? Exactly, brace. And we could use the word secretary in more than one way. Nicely done. Sorry, it is a homograph. Okay? And again, that piece of furniture, which still exists, and an office worker, an office manager, assistants, that sort of thing. All right, so the next word, a clerk, right? A receptionist, that's kind of commonly used. So the next word is the word, um, we're going to skip down to number 11. It's the word fortune. What's the word? Exactly, fortune, like a fortune cookie, right? He made a fortune, he's very rich. A fortune cookie is a, a, a little nugget of wisdom, right? A little rich nugget of wisdom, okay? But also fortune is sort of, mm, sort of interchangeable with luck sometimes. You know, I had the great fortune to find um, <clears throat> my missing keys. I had the luck. To, to find that right or a, a, it, sometimes it could be used as a coincidence destiny fate it was my fortune to be able to meet the president of the united states said the child okay i don't care what your politics are so don't make a comment all right anyway you get the idea it was my great fortune to be able to have a wonderful college professor how about that will make it a little better right okay sometimes people call it lady luck or a twist of fate okay so fortune has to do with wealth or riches and also um, a coincidence uh, chance luck uh, lady luck they call it sometimes twist of fate okay fortune let's go sorry for tune fortune all right number 11 let's go for tune fortune all right so we have three things
great on the line the or the u and the silent e twice draw an arrow back you know the rest all right we can use it more than one way and i expect sentences with all of these homographs to explain the definitions don't say fortune could be used in two ways or secretary can be used in two ways or the, the secret comes from secretary you need to explain what this means okay so getting back to when it's sort of like luck or chance or a coincidence you say that you are very fortunate what's the word beautiful fortunate let's go for to nat sorry fortunate so let's go for oh, i messed that up to nat fortunate all right so how do we mark this up beautiful underline the u and the silent e twice job number five and i also forgot to underline the or for those of you who caught that mistake okay and notice that the word fortune ends with a silent e and we drop it over here all right so fortune right over here and then we that suffix a t e right so that is rule sorry rule 13. now when something is not fortunate you say it is unfortunate all right the family had the unfortunate luck to lose their family pet unfortunate okay unfortunate let's go on for to Nate, unfortunate, uh, Nat, sorry, unfortunate. So let's go. On for to Nat. Okay, and that prefix on we do know means not. Let's go. On the line the or, the U, and the silent E twice, job number five. Uh, the U can say U at the end of a syllable. I forgot to do that over here, so that is rule four let's just put that back in for fortunate and then just draw a little arrow and put a repeat for that okay i'm not gonna make you do that all over again okay and what do we do with these three words great triple brace number 12 is the word ruin what's the word beautiful ruin okay which means to destroy or devastate to wreck demolish Think about the sandcastle, right? Someone tries to ruin it by, by uh, knocking it over. Um, the angry white mob tried to ruin, to destroy Ruby Bridge's life, to devastate her life um, uh, in order to uh, prevent her from coming into, uh, to integrating the school. Ruin, let's go. Ru, sorry, ru-in, ruin, let's go. First syllable, ru, excellent. Second syllable, in. So how do we mark this up? Beautiful, underline the u. The u can say u at the end of a syllable. Beautiful, that's rule four. When you learn about ancient civilizations, you'll say that there were ruins that they discovered, all right? Things that had fallen, that were destroyed, but were rediscovered, okay? And the last word is the word group. What's the word? Beautiful, group. Okay, so we know what group is, right? Um, when you classify something, when there's a variety of things, like I have a group of <coughs> friends, I have a variety of friends, right? A type or a kind, a bunch, a batch, I have a group of cookies, a category, a species like an animal, a style or the rank, a cluster of things can be a group, but also group is a verb, all right? I'm going to organize, I'm going to collect, I'm going to assemble, I'm going to arrange things in this group by color or shape or size, okay? Group, okay? It's like you sit at a group in school, right? Okay, so let's go group. G, R, U, P. We use ow, o, u, a. Group, let's go. G, R, U, P. Group, and whenever it's the U sound for that, it's a French word. That's the etymology. Okay, so how do we mark this up? Beautiful, underline the oo. Ow, o, oo. Beautiful, third sound. We can use it more than one way. Sorry. It is a homograph. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so let's review these words here. 
All right, and then we're gonna go. Let's go. G R U P group. Ruin. Ruin. Fortune. Fortune. Fortunate. Fortunate. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Secretary. Secretary. I don't like what I just did because it's. Let me do this again. Fortune. Fortune. Fortunate. Fortunate. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Sec. Secretary. Secretary. Secret. Secret. All right, it's a tough one.